Thanksgiving is a joyous celebration that unfortunately can be marred by anxiety about cooking the turkey and the many side dishes. So I'm going to show you how you can formulate a cooking plan and how you can easily orchestrate the preparation of the meal for a stress-free celebration using your Bertazzoni range. The key to success for roasting your turkey and preparing your oven side dishes is to use your convection mode in your oven. When we roast our turkeys in convection, they cook it much faster than traditional recipe time and we never turn them and we never baste them. But you'll notice you must use a rack in a shallow pan to roast your turkey because now the turkey is sitting up higher in the oven and the convection heat can circulate evenly around it, cooking it from the rim to the core. When cooked this way, all the juices will stay in the turkey because in convection, the meat will not dry out. Now, when you're determining the cooking time for your turkey, be sure to add on an additional 40 to 50 minutes. In that time, you'll need to rest the turkey, make the gravy and carve the turkey. And the great thing is, that's the approximate time frame for roasting root vegetables and baking casseroles. So your oven side dishes and your turkey will be ready to serve at exactly the same time. Be sure to stage your oven when it's cold to make sure that you have the proper placement worked out for your oven trays and your casserole dishes and that you've left enough room in between the racks for enough air circulation. Because of the faster cooking time uh, when we cook our turkeys in convection, it's advisable not to stuff them tight with regular stuffing. However, you can easily place in some aromatics like onions or carrots and your favorite herbs. For even cooking, it's best if your turkey sits out of the fridge for an hour or so in a cool place. Instead of tying the legs of the turkey close to the body, we let the legs swing free because that area where the legs meet the body is going to be the coldest part of the turkey. Put a skewer between the legs to secure them and you'll find again that in that faster cooking time the heat can fully penetrate into that area for even cooking. We roast our turkeys at 325 degrees but for the last 15 minutes of the cooking time we like to put the temperature up to about 400 degrees. That extra boost at the end just gives you the additional browning and crisping that makes a truly eye appealing turkey. When the turkey comes out of the oven, be sure to test it in the thickest part with an instant read thermometer. We cook our turkeys to 160 or 165 degrees and then during the resting time we carve them once they've reached about 185 degrees. When the turkey has rested for at least 20 minutes, pick the turkey up with some clean kitchen towels and drain the juices into the roasting pan. Then scrape all the combined juices into a clear container so you can easily scrape the fat that rises to the top straight off. Then you can place the roasting pan on one of the moderate heat burners Add a little of the turkey stock and a drop of bourbon for flavor and color, and you can deglaze the pan. Now if you combine the juices from the turkey with your giblet stock and the deglazing juices, you're ready to make gravy. In the Bertazzoni oven, we bake our pies on rack position two, and we use regular bake because in this mode we really want the heat to come up through the bottom to cook the pastry through. This is traditional baking mode. So we use the traditional temperature, but we always check the timing a little in advance of the recipe time because it's a very powerful oven. We can also bake on multiple racks in the Bertazzoni oven, and of course then we use the convection mode for even heat distribution, and we reduce the recipe temperatures by 25 degrees. You have great tools to work with. The convection enables you to cook multiple foods at one time. And of course, you've got your cooktop tools. Do your planning. The orchestration part will be much easier and you'll have some really fabulous food to be enjoyed by all.